Hello and welcome to my shop. This is Jim in Rock Springs, Wyoming. Glad you tuned in and thank you. In this evening's little video episode, my granddaughter is my film recorder again and we're going to make a tool. We're going to make a point tool, a three point tool, uh, whatever you like to call it. Uh, we're going to make this little tool and uh, I find it a really, really almost a necessary tool for the wood turner's workshop. Now, it's not that hard to make. I'm going to give you a few hints and tips that I've learned along the way. And I'd like to give a shout out to Doug Thompson at Thompson Lay Tools as uh, this idea really came from him. I want to show you how to make the three-point tool, making this grind nice and even, easy to do on all three points. The same little adapter we're going to use tonight can also be used if you want to use and grind on a two side of a tool. Let's say you wanted to make a mini skew or some other small tool. Now I'm being I'm going to be using a piece of high speed steel that I purchased from Enco and it's an Enco and let me give you the part number. It's an Enco part number 383-7015 and it's a quarter inch diameter by about eight inches long. Now I'm using a little one-way twist lock ferrule for this little handle, point tool, small tool, don't need a really big handle. But what I like about these are you can take your tools in and out and sharpen them, put them back in. And what I'm going to do tonight is I already have the point tool on this end. We're going to flip it and make another one on this end on this video. I'll show you how to get all three of those sides equally ground. And when you go back to resharpen, you can use this same little guy to do that too. The other reason I like this one-way ferro lock is if you don't like this handle that you've made, just screw this off and put it on another handle that you've made. So let me show you the little adapter we're going to use tonight. It's really simple and easy to do. Whatever round tool you want to use, once you've got the tool steel picked out that you want to use, this one of course is a quarter inch OD, I picked up a 5 sixteenths, what they call a union nut. I then threaded it with a small Allen set screw. This will hold our piece of steel. It being a six sided nut, we'll use three of the flats to make our three point two. Now I'm using one of the robo rests and if you go to robohippie.net you can buy these rests. They're really good, they're nice and I've got it set on about 35 degrees. Now, you can say you know, whatever you feel is comfortable. You can play with it, change it, change it up and down. So we'll slide the little nut. Remember, it's the long nut. These are really easy to thread because most of them are a grade 5 nut and they're not very hard. So leave about an inch, inch and a quarter sticking out. Snug that down. Now, if you want to kind of be sure you're getting this right, you may want to put a, take a sharpie or something and put a little mark on every other flat. But I use the Allen head screw sort of as my reference point. So let's go ahead and go to the grinder and look at how we're going to make this. Now I'm going to be using a CBN wheel, and, but I am still going to be wearing a face shield. Always, when you come to the grinder, safety first especially if you're using the aluminum oxide or other kinds of composite, stone composite, ceramic composite wheels, be sure and even using the other, anything can happen at this grinder. And remember, you only get one set of eyes. Take care of them. Face shield to the ready. Now you'll have a little trouble hearing me with the face shield on, but I'd rather you have a trouble hearing me than me not be able to see you. 
So let's turn it around and let it come up to speed. This is a Rikon 8 inch slow speed grinder. And a little later I'm going to do a review on this particular wheel, CBM wheel that I've got and give you some more information on that. So now we'll start with this first flat. Place it flat on the tool rest. Ease it into the wheel. Slowly. Now, take it all the way around to the flat beside the set screw. Now, you've got a flat here and a flat here that you ground. So now let's go to this flat that would be at the 6 o'clock position. Flip it in. Flip it in. Every other flat. Once you get started, you see the angle beginning to appear. Now take your time doing this, keeping your nut square and flat. Avoid a tendency to pick up on the end of the tool steel or to push your work and to try to get it done faster. Just take your time, making good contact, keeping this triangle even as you go. You'll notice we're starting to develop three nice even points. Three nice even points. So continue. I'm using my thumb here just to move that nut back and forth. Just moving it back and forth. This is a 180 grit CBN wheel. This is not a 4 CBN wheel. Again, it's 180 grit. And now we have our point tool made. It's just that simple to make a point tool. So let's look at another tool we can make while we're at the grinder. Let's take off our little homemade adapter. Let's take another piece of quarter inch steel. Slide it in about an inch out. Snug up the nut. Or the Allen screw, it's not a nut. Now, we're just going to grind on two flats. Two flats. What we'll do now, and I'm going to leave the grinder set at about 35 degrees, but we're going to make a small skew. Turn it 180 degrees. If you've never used a CBN wheel before and you're watching this video, the one thing that you have to get used to with a CBN wheel is the absence of the big sparks that you see 
when you're using the traditional grinder. Now, we've got a good beginning, a little bit of a flat on our tool steel. Now, we want to take this and change it to an angle. Now here, I've got a mark at the 70 degree, 65 or 70 degree mark. I'm going to hold my tool here now, and I'm going to slowly go back and forth, straight, back and forth. Now I'm going to turn my whole thing over, back to the mark. I've got one on the other side. Well, no, I don't. I don't see it now anyway. So we'll do this. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. You'll need to keep a check to be sure you're staying in the center of your piece of tool steel. Now once again, for this coarse grinding, if you've got a coarser wheel, of course it'll make this go a lot faster. But if you're actually watching this in real time, again, notice I'm getting that angle developed pretty quickly, even on a 180 grit stone. Now, what you can do, and uh, have a couple of tools that I've made this way also, is you can put this little skew on one end and your point tool on the other. Then, You'll notice now, I have a nice little skew. But if you put a skew on one end and a point tool on the other end, all you have to do is take the one out of the handle and flip it over. And now, I have a point tool on each end of the tool steel. I can slide it back in to the handle, lock it down, use it until it needs sharpening, take it out, flip it over, fresh edge. It's ready to go. Remember, if you want to use larger diameter steel, just get a larger nut. And remember, these are the nuts that you would use to put two pieces of threaded rod together, something like that. Go ahead, drill it. Put a little Allen screw in it, a little Cess screw in it. You can hot glue this shaft into the nut. Uh, you know, you can be creative with that. But this will keep it lined up. Remember, six-sided nut, three flats are going to be equal, two flats are going to be equal. The possibilities, uh, you can figure those out. Well... Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel and watching this little video about getting the point on the point tool. I hope you've enjoyed it. hope you found it interesting. Hit subscribe and if you have questions, leave it in the comments area below. And also, I'll put the ENCODE part number in uh, the description below. And again, I want to thank Doug Thompson at Thompson Lay Tools for this idea about how to get this nice equal three-sided point tool. Safe turning from Jim and Wyoming. Thank you.